Hey, welcome to UTNU and happy Easter. Happy Easter. It's very, very encouraging every time we come to this season of the year to know that some time ago, more than 2,000 years ago, that someone showed love to man and accepted to come down to earth, be born, became man, and offered his life that I might be free, you might be free. And I'm talking about the man Jesus. So in this weekend, all over the world, we are remembering the love of Jesus Christ as he surrendered his life willingly. No man took it from him. He surrendered willingly because a sinless life had to go in for the emancipation of man after Adam had lost it in the garden. And God had for man an alternate plan. That was how Jesus came so this weekend is an amazing weekend it's a weekend of love it's a weekend of sacrifice it's a weekend that no man who desires to have a relationship with jesus should joke with ah again i want to say to my viewers to my friends happy easter ah he loves me, I cannot say why. And if you know that song, would you sing with me? He loves me, I cannot say why. On Calvary's tree, Jesus suffered for me. He loves me, I cannot say why. He loves me, I cannot say why. That's true, Jesus loves me, I cannot say why. On Calvary's tree, Jesus suffered and he died. He loves me, I cannot say why. I want to read this scripture of crucifixion. John's Gospel, chapter 19. I'm going to take a very long scripture. This season is a solemn season. It's a season to identify with the love that God showed to man. Then Pilate therefore took Jesus and scourged him. And the soldiers plaited a crown of thorns and put it on his head. And they put on him a purple robe and said, Hail, King of the Jews. This was mocking. And they smote him with their hands. Pilate therefore went forth again and said unto them, Behold, I bring him forth to you, that ye may know that I find no fault in him. Then came Jesus forth, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. And Pilate saith unto them, Behold the man. When the chief priests therefore and the officers saw him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate saith unto them, Take ye him, and crucify him, for I find no fault in him. The Jews answered him, We have a law, and by our law he ought to die, because he made himself the Son of God. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he was the more afraid, who wouldn't be, and went again into the judgment hall, and saith unto Jesus, Whence art thou? But Jesus gave him no answer. 
Then saith Pilate unto him, Speakest thou not unto me? Knowest thou not that I have power to crucify thee? <laughs> and have power to release thee? <laughs> Jesus answered, Thou couldest have no power at all against me, except it were given thee from above. It means Jesus told him, you don't have any power to crucify me. What you're doing now is because God has allowed you to do it. Therefore, he that delivered me unto thee hath the greater sin. And from thenceforth, Pilate sought to release him. But the Jews cried out, saying, If thou let this man go, thou art not Caesar's friend. <laughs> How many times do people face that kind of threats? So people are pushed into doing what they ought not to have done because they want to establish a certain relationship that is out of fraud. <laughs> Whosoever maketh himself a king speaketh against Caesar. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he brought Jesus forth and sat down in the judgment seat in a place that is called the pavement, but in the Hebrew, Gabbatha. And it was the preparation of the Passover, and about the sixth hour. And he saith unto the Jews, Behold your king. The chief priest answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then delivered he him, therefore unto them to be crucified. And they took Jesus and led him away. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha, where they crucified him and two other with him. On either side, one and Jesus in the midst. And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross. And the writing was, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. This title then read many of the Jews. For the place where Jesus was crucified was nigh to the city. And it was written in Hebrew and Greek and Latin. Then said the chief priest of the Jews to Pilate, Write not the king of the Jews, but that he said, I am the king of the Jews. Verse 22. I love this. Pilate answered, What I have written, I have written. If a man could insist on a writing of a thing. How much more has the blood of Jesus insisted on the writing for your freedom? Pilate said, what I have written, I have written. And this season, the blood of Jesus is writing things over the lives of people. The blood of Jesus is writing freedom over a life that had been held captive. The blood of Jesus is writing a release over someone's life that was held in bondage. If Pilate could say, what I have written, I have written. The blood of Jesus is speaking more over your life in this season. What Jesus has written over your life has been written. No power no demon, no ancestral influence can undo that which the blood of Jesus has written concerning your life. I'm reading down. Then the soldiers, when they had crucified Jesus, took his garments and made four parts to every soldier a part and also his coat. Now the coat was without seam, woven from top throughout. 
They said, therefore, among themselves, let us not rend it, but cast lots for it, whose it shall be, that the scripture might be fulfilled, that the scripture might be fulfilled, which saith, they parted my remnant among them, and for my vesture they did cast lots. These things, therefore, the soldiers did. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by, whom he loved, he saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then saith he to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour, that disciple took her unto his own home. Jesus is still introducing mothers to people. Jesus is still introducing people to people. In this season of Easter, Jesus, by his Spirit, is introducing people to people people to systems, sons to mothers, mothers to sons. It is what Jesus established. 28. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, saith, I thirst. Now there was set a vessel full of vinegar, and the filled a sponge with vinegar, and put it upon hyssop, and put it to his mouth. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. That's why we're remembering this season. It is finished. He went through the process. He went through the ordeal of the cross. And he made these pronouncements, which is what everyone should know. It is finished. Your pain, your sicknesses, your sufferings, all the fights that witches have fought you, all the struggles to stand as a child of God, all the things you know are like overwhelming you whatever name it carries I want to remind you today because we are remembering what Jesus did that Jesus made a final statement it is finished the earlier you understood this and walk in the understanding and the revelation of this truth the better for you. It is finished. Ancestral speakings. It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his ghost. Verse 31. The Jews, therefore, because it was the preparation that the bodies should not remain upon the cross on the Sabbath day, for that Sabbath day was an high day. They besought Pilate that their legs might be broken and that they might be taken away. Then came the soldiers and broke the legs of the first and of the, the other which was crucified with him. Note verse 33. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, they break not his legs. But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side, and forthwith came there out blood and water. And he that saw it bear record, and his record is true, and he knoweth that he saith true that ye might believe.
For these things were done that the scripture should be fulfilled. And what was the scripture? A bone of him shall not be broken. And again, another scripture saith, They shall look on him whom they pierced. If you listen to this scripture, you can see prophetic statements made in the book of Isaiah. The statements that were prophetically made many, many years ago, before Jesus came to manifestation. You can see those prophetic words being made manifest. Number one, from this chapter, that his remnant was going to be cast lot with. You, you heard when I read it. It was fulfilled. That his legs will not be broken. You've seen that. That's what happened. What has God spoken concerning you? What prophetic word has been given to you? It doesn't matter how many years the prophetic word had, has lingered. See Jesus manifesting the speakings of the prophets. And I say to someone today, every prophetic word that has been spoken over your life in this season of Easter and by the speakings of the blood of Jesus that it be made manifest in your life in the name of Jesus Christ to someone that received a prophetic word for healing I decree that your body begins to manifest healing now in the name of Jesus Christ if Jesus could manifest prophecy that was spoken many years hundreds of years before today Whatever word of prophecy that has been spoken to you, to your destiny, again I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that that word of prophecy be birthed forth in your life in this season. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is coming to erase the speakings of the past. It is coming to erase the speakings from your ancestry. Whatever blood had been shed from your father's house that is manifesting negative speakings today because Jesus manifested prophecy. Your life, your destiny, your family, your business, your ministry will manifest prophecy in the name of Jesus. Now go back and remember what was told you in the past. And it is coming to pass in this season, in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 38. And after this, Joseph of Arimathea, being a disciple of Jesus, but secretly for fear of the Jews, besought Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus. And Pilate gave him leave. May God give you Joseph of Arimathea in your lifetime. It took a man who was influential to talk with the king. It took a man who was influential to talk to Pilate to be, be able to bring down the body of Jesus to put in the grave. Today I declare that you receive a favor for your life from destiny helpers in the name of Jesus. Can you imagine what would have happened if there was no Joseph of Arimathea? May the Lord give to you a Joseph of Arimathea. In the name of Jesus. By that I mean that man that is influential, that can demand for that position you're looking for. That man that is influential, that can install you in a place you couldn't have ordinarily by yourself get there. That man that can introduce you to a place that you could not have been to. Receive your destiny helper in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, he came therefore and took the body of Jesus and there came also Nicodemus that which at the first came to Jesus by night and brought a mixture of mare and aloes about an hundred pound weight. I mean, these were people who were for Jesus even in the time of death. They showed up. May the power of the cross bring forth helpers in your time of Lord Eber, in your time of being down, in your time 
of not knowing what to do. I speak this into someone's life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Then took there the body of Jesus and wound it in linen clothes with the spices as the manner of the Jews is to bury. Now in the place where he was crucified, there was a garden and in the garden a new sepulchre wherein was never man yet led. There led there Jesus, therefore because of the Jews. There led there Jesus, therefore because of the Jews' preparation day. For the sepulchre was nigh at hand. Amen. A long scripture it is. But I had to read that because you need to know what happened. Many of you hear Easter as, you know, a season. You don't know what it is. Jesus went through all of this. Before all of this, he had to establish a covenant of his blood through the Last Supper. As you partake of this Easter or you go through this Easter, may your life be brought into the new covenant of the blood of Jesus so you will understand and by experience come into what Jesus did for you and I. In the name of Jesus, happy Easter. May Easter be made manifest in your life. May you not just hear it with your ears. May you not just practice it as a routine. May the power of Easter be made practicable in your life. And if you do not know Jesus, if Jesus came to die and you are not sensitive enough to align with his death by surrendering your life to him, would you allow this time be your season that you said to Jesus, I align myself with what you did, the price you paid. I want you to be my Lord and my Savior. I give my life to you so that I will also live with you. The Bible says, if we be dead with him, we will also live with him. If we be dead with him, we will also live with him. If you want to live eternally with him, when that, when that time comes, Make this your season. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Father, as many as are willing to surrender their lives to you, Lord, to align with the work of the cross, I am asking, O oh God, that the blood of Jesus will cleanse every man of his or her sin. The blood of Jesus will register a new beginning in someone's life. Lord, that the old be gone and the new be birthed forth in the name of Jesus. Let lives be transformed by the reason of Easter. Let the new come in by the reason of Easter. Do what you know to do as God, for we trust that you are faithful and will remain faithful to the very end in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Welcome, 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 welcome to the family of Jesus and the Lord God bless you. I want to believe that you've been blessed. Please don't forget to like this video and click the subscribe button so that you will always be reached with our various videos. Thank you very much. I love you and I know that Jesus loves you so very much. Thank you and bye.